So today we're going to talk about place value and we know our place value pocket chart. We've got the ones place here and we've got some cubes in here of singles, right? We have some single ones. We've got the tens place here and we've got our, our longs which equal 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we haven't hit the hundredth day of school yet, but so we have nothing in our hundreds chart. But we'll be changing that um, in a little bit. So let's talk a little bit about the ones place value. So when I write a number, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are all in the ones place, okay? Those are all in the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are all in the ones place, okay? When I go here, I now have two numbers, and now I have numbers that are in the tens place. So my one, my ones place is zero. Here it is in ones place, and my tens place is, is um, a one in for the number ten. From now on, after ten, all the way up to ninety-nine, I have two numbers: one place value, two place value, two numbers, one, two, that are going to be in the tens place. Once I hit one hundred, I now have three numbers. Well, look at this: one, two, three. Ones, tens, hundreds ones, tens, hundreds, one, two, three. Now I'm talking about numbers in the hundreds place value. And the number after that would be, my friends, the thousands, you guessed it. And we've got the thousands place. If I were to bump this over a little bit, I would have thousands over here. Okay, and this would be the thousands place value. So I'd have to have four numbers, right? Because one, two, three, four. So I'd have to have something like that. And there'd be a comma here, one, two, three, comma. And, and so we've seen thousands before. But when we're talking about the ones, tens, and hundreds, we're talking about these numbers right here. Okay, and so these would be the ones, and once I get 10 of these, then I can change it out for one of these. Okay, so let's see if I have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm, don't have enough, so I can't change it for one of these tens. If I did have 10 of these, I would change it for one of these, and these would go away because I'd be duplicating them, I'd be adding to them if I if I put a new tens place here and put them here, I'd get extra and I don't need extra. So if I change up to 10, it's gonna go right up into the tens place and the ones are gonna disappear and I'm gonna start all over again. So if I were to look at numbers, say I had this for a number, I'd say one, two, I'd have two in the ones place and then I'd have one group of 10 here. So my number would be 12, right? Okay. We'll be talking more about place value as we go through the week.